everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are talking all about back to school beauty hacks. So let's get started. I feel like this is like becoming a thing. I don't know if it should become a thing. So as you guys may know, I am currently a Schick ambassador. So of course the first hack has to do with getting nice smooth legs. And so the first step is to use some body wash in the shower. And I have been using Avino's Skin Relief Body Wash in Coconut. And it's gonna leave your skin feeling really smooth and moisturized. And the nice thing about this as well is it is dye free and soap free. So you don't have to worry about any reaction and you can use this every single day. And for step number two, I use my Schick Intuition Advanced Moisture Razor. And the nice thing about it as well is you don't need to use shave gel because around the four blades, there's a skin conditioning solid that contains shea butter and that really moisturizes the skin with every stroke. And for the third and final step, I use my Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizer. And this is an non-greasy formula as well, which is really nice and it leaves your skin moisturized for 24 hours. Moving on to hack numero dos. So I'd always buy a new foundation when I was going back to school, but the problem was I'd have to buy a lighter shade because my tan would fade so quickly. So a little trick you can do is just mix your new foundation that's a bit lighter for your skin with some bronzing lotion, and that way it will match the tan you currently have, which unfortunately is about to fade. If you guys want your hair to look really voluminous for school, you want to put dry shampoo in it overnight and then sleep on your hair, and the next morning when you wake up, it's gonna be all fleek. My hair's in a ponytail, so you guys can't really see it, but I have some dry shampoo in here. When getting out of the shower and you have wet hair, instead of using a towel to dry it, try using the old t-shirt and that will actually help prevent frizz. So in buying new foundation, instead of testing the color on your face, which is actually kind of gross because there's a lot of germs in there, you want to actually test it on your neck and you're going to be able to tell your shade a lot better. If you're needing to exfoliate your skin, but you don't want to buy one of those expensive exfoliators because who wants to do that? Um, or buy some cream or you just like don't want to leave your house. Are we on the same level here? Then you can actually use brown sugar as an exfoliant and it works fantastic. If you guys are wanting to have really lush lashes in order to impress your crush, these are supposed to be lashes by the way, um, you can actually just take some translucent powder or some baby powder and sprinkle them on before you put mascara on and that's just going to help build up your lashes to make them really buff. If you're wanting to plump up your lips a little bit, you can mix a bit of peppermint oil in with your normal lip gloss and it sounds a lot scarier when it actually comes out of my mouth, but it does work. If you're wanting your mascara to go on really nicely, just stick your mascara bottle in your bra for a few minutes to heat it up, and that way when you put it on, it will be a little warm and it's just gonna apply a lot better. To make your hair look thicker, you wanna take some eyeshadow and just brush it on your part, and that will give the illusion that you have a lot fuller head of hair. If you don't have time to wash your hair in the morning, but your hair feels a little bit greasy, what you can do is just wash the front part of your hair. And guys, I do this hack all the time and it works so amazing. And I go from my ear forward and I just wash that part. And then when blow drying it, it only takes under five minutes. Yeah, I feel like I have a nice fresh hair and my bangs look really good. And so that is it for the hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried any of these hacks before. And as usual, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.